Welcome to my impressions video of the Sega Genesis Retrobit Sega Genesis 8 button arcade pad 2.4 GHz wireless. This is a shadow or slate gray version of the controller. There is uh, other colors. There's the blue um, and there's the uh, pink, which is the which is sold in limited quantities for uh, breast cancer awareness. But this controller is compatible with Sega Genesis, the Sega Genesis Mini, PC, Mac. PS3 and Switch. I have used the controller with my original Model 1 Sega Genesis. I actually did some gameplay footage with me playing it and I didn't show my button presses but really enjoyed using the controller. It feels a lot like an original controller if not better. I'm not sure because I have not played with an original controller since mm, 91 or 92 so it's been, been some time. Here's what's on the back of the box great thing about this is it's wireless that's great for retro devices um, so here's the controller beautiful piece of work here love it um, so you have your regular buttons here great uh, d-pad and then try to get this thing to light up here oh, there we go and I'm running this off the charge that it whatever they charged up to in the uh, where they made it in the factory or whatever have not charged it myself will be doing that very soon though um but yeah i really enjoyed playing this uh trying this out on my um original model one sega genesis and i must say that this uh was bought with my own money so this re uh Impression slash review video is not paid for, so I'm not just gonna sit here and um, just say it's all great and everything like that. I mean, I have nothing against this controller or the companies that made it. Retrobit puts out some great products um, from what I've used so far. Um, but yeah, no really uh, disadvantages to using this over the Bluetooth version. Um, and I bought this before the Bluetooth version was available. Uh, after you're reading good reviews on this, you don't have to have this thing directly pointed at your system uh, while using it, like with some cheap um, 2.4 gigahertz controllers are. This is made with care and the most respect to uh, gamers. So, back to the buttons. You have Home, which will work with PS3 and more than likely the switch um, what do we have here oh select so I'm thinking that works with uh, the Gen Genesis Mini and uh, other modern systems so to speak so you can see the inner workings I'm sorry workings of the controller I'm sorry it's late um, and I noticed on the back here you have that 500 ma or milliamp our battery you have the uh, Sega and Retrobit logos there at the bottom of the controller with CE and FC uh, certifications or whatever made in China of course but sorry having some dry itch here um, but this controller's not feel cheap or um, too light it feels just right it has a good weight to it um, so if you want to see that gameplay footage of me using this controller I will uh, put those in boxes at the end of the video um, and this controller won't be break the bank it doesn't cost you know 50 bucks or, or, or above that it is below $50 depending on where you buy it and who you buy it from um, and depending on where you live because shipping could bump that the cost of this item up quite a bit but yeah then you also, I'm sorry, back to the buttons, you also have your shoulder buttons, which are going to work with your modern games because the original controller just didn't uh, have these uh, buttons. It did have, the original controller did have a mode button, though, however, um, to switch the um, button inputs. Um, but yeah, so you get your... adapters there or yeah your USB and retro bit works exactly as intended I think there's actually a button on here which uh, helps you 
pair the controller to the receiver and this can only be paired to one receiver at a time <coughs> I was told that uh, or read a review that said that and these can be bought separately um, as well as other um, receivers for other uh, company's controllers on like Stone Age Gamer I noticed so if you lose one of these or it breaks or something or you step on it or whatever whatever happens you can always replace it easily these are not cheap though they're they're, they're pricey so if you get one of these with like a package deal like this try and hang on to it try to take care of it um love this box though <laughs> it's blue and it says I love Ira on it I don't know who that is I think that's like a uh Maybe one of the developer's girlfriends or, you know, whatever. Here's the back of the box. Excellent control there. I cannot recommend this enough. Gotta love it. And yes, I am a Sega Genesis fan. So, here it is. All put back together. I believe you get a box with another controller. And I actually did order it. I'm crazy. I know I... I was initially going to order it on another website with a retro sticker. That retro sticker we'll be purchasing <coughs> excuse me, later on. Uh, possibly with a different controller, a uh, different color and different type. Slightly different type later on. And I'll show that as well in a pickups video later this year. Probably sometime in October. I'm waiting that long. That way I have plenty of items to show because I'm just not going to sit here and buy go crazy and buy a bunch of stuff like I used to each month um, like I did in previous years that's the, I can't do that anymore I'd love to but yeah here there you go here's the there's the Sega Genesis 8 button arcade pad 2.4 gigahertz wireless controller that's my impressions guys so yeah if you're into the retro stuff retro games rather you play them on a on a original hardware or uh, modern consoles this is one of the controllers to get so yeah there you go that's the video guys thank you very much for watching if you want to subscribe to my channel <coughs> go ahead and click that subscribe button I appreciate it very much comments and support as well thank you again and have a good one